Hello there, everybody. Hey, you ready for a little trip down to the wild and weird and wacky but wonderful world of the word? I can hardly say that. It's tough. Wild, weird, wacky, but wonderful world of the word. Got it. Hey, on Monday, Memorial Day, we talked about Psalm 130. And Psalm 130 it's a beautiful psalm. It's a psalm of ascent. And, but it's the perfect example of the very thing that drives commentators, biblical scholars, translators, absolutely crazy. So much so they just want to pull their hair, hair up. Well, you know what I mean. So, what's, what is it about Psalm 130 that makes them want to do that? Well, there's actually two things involved in there, <clears throat> and one of them is just a um, doesn't drive them crazy so much as it's just a a matter of interest, and that is if you look in various different translations of the Bible, what you're going to find is, hmm, is it the Lord we're talking about, or is it the Lord we're talking about. What do I mean by that? Well, if you pay real close attention and look at the print, in some translations, it'll have Lord in all capital letters. And the first one might be a big um, uppercase letter. And the rest of it, the O-R-D, might be a little bit smaller, but they're still in uppercase. Hmm, that's kind of weird. And then, other times, when the word Lord appears in that psalm, it's an uppercase L, and then just regular lowercase O-R-D. What's going on here? Did, did somebody fall asleep at the at the wheel here? Um, it was someone who was putting together the type setting for the print shop. Did they mess up, or what, what's going on? Well, there's a very good explanation for that. You might recall, we've talked about it before, how sacred the name of God was for the Jewish people. So sacred, you didn't say God's name. Do you remember what God's name is? It's Yahweh. Yahweh. I am who I am. And, and that form of the verb to be is one that can be translated so many different ways. I will become what I will become. I'll be what I want to be. I am what I am. I was what I want. I mean, it's all that, all jammed into one. So it's kind of an interesting thing, but it's sacred. You don't want to say it. So what do you do when it comes to saying the name of God? Instead of saying Yahweh, you say Lord instead. So, whenever you're reading the scriptures and it has a uppercase L followed by uppercase O R D, and usually they're just printed just a little bit smaller than normal, that is the name Yahweh, the Lord. Okay. Now, what what about the Lord, the the regular uppercase L but lowercase O R D? What's going on there? Eh, quite simply. That is the Hebrew word translated in English, but the Hebrew word there is for is Adonai. It means Lord. It means Master. And uh, some translations tr do exactly that. They'll, they'll put the word Master in there or Lord. Um, but it's just another name for God, Adonai. Okay, so you have those two things going on back and forth in the in this Psalm 130, so don't be confused by that. But <clears throat> there's another thing that kind of drives translators crazy, and that is <clears throat> if you were to take this Psalm 130 and have the King James Version in front of you, and you had another version of the Scripture, let's say the Revised Standard Version, you're, you're, you're putting yourself in a kind of a conundrum. Is this psalm, it's a, remember I said it was a psalm of ascent. Those are the uh, 15 psalms 
that are, comprise Book 5 of the Psalter, and they all um, reflect uh, a, a quality of worship, all right, and probably was used during the worship in the temple area. But in this particular psalm, th there's different types, and one of them is a lament, another one is a thanksgiving. Is this a lament or a thanksgiving? And you can translate it both ways. Both ways. How can that be? It all hinges on two different verbs. The first one, I, I cried out to the Lord. All right. And then later on, I will wait upon the Lord. Now, in the Hebrew, it's kind of uncertain whether that is like a, a present tense verb, both of those verbs, or are they past tense? tense verbs. If they are present tense verbs, then this is a lament. Oh God, I'm, I'm crying out to you for help. Oh God, I will wait upon you. You know, I'll wait for an answer. I'll wait for help. I'll wait for deliverance. That's a lament. On the other hand, if it's a psalm of thanksgiving, they are past tense verbs. I cried to the Lord and he answered me. Yay. You know, um, I waited upon the Lord, and he rescued me. You see the difference there? And unfortunately, in the way that the Hebrew is constructed here, it could go either way. Now, there is one thing that kind of gives it away that helps us. It's called looking at the literary context. It helps us determine that most likely it is a lament and not a hymn of thanksgiving. And that is... In a hymn of thanksgiving, at the end, there's usually um, a call to worship God or, or a prayer of, of praise, and that's missing in this psalm. So that is why most scholars and translators will put it as a lament, but not the King James Version. The King James Version put it as a thanksgiving. Isn't that interesting? That's wild, that's weird, and that's wacky. But that's the world that we have and the scriptures that we have. Sometimes give us just a wee bit of mm, what's going on here, right? But all in all, it's a great psalm. Look it up. Psalm 130. God's blessings be with you and get ready for worship time. Come tomorrow, Sunday morning.